So as you notice on this screen we have this now has appeared. Since we've uh, changed the system settings into advanced we've now got all the controls for the camera which is really good. Um, so we've got auto, this is white balance basically. So we've got auto white balance, we can lock off the white balance if we want. So just keep it where, whatever we've pointed it at, it's taken as a white balance and that will hold it there. You can set it at cloudy if you like. If you notice it's changing the actual color, that's what the white balance does. If you don't know uh, about white balance, then uh, uh, there's loads of stuff on the web or I might, might actually do one uh, if I get some requests for it, just to actually run through how I run this. But basically, um, there's different settings that will adjust uh, the white balance, so adjust the base color of what you're filming in. Normally, most people have it on auto, uh, but that doesn't always work every time. Uh, if you're on a bright sunny day, I shoot on sunny. Um, if I'm shooting cloudy, I shoot on cloudy because it's not going to change during my flight. Then when we move on to uh, a major adjustment as far as I'm concerned. We come over, we press this bottom one here, as you saw and it comes up with auto, so that's auto exposure. And if I press that, I now go on to manual exposure. Now, this drops to where it was, um, what it had more or less on auto. So the ISO was 300, and we can now up the shutter speed, basically. So this is a shutter speed down here, but if I want to brighten up, I can brighten it up with including the ISOs. And now if I drop the shutter speed back down again, it's going to brighten it right up. So you've got total control here. Um, the aperture is fixed on this one, so anyone that's really into cameras and everything, you can't alter the aperture, but you can alter the ISOs and the uh, shutter speed as well. Keep your shutter speed um, as low as possible, uh, as far as I'm concerned. That tends to give me better uh, filming. Um, and if, if I was saying that, I would say that was about right uh, for where we are, um, uh, just looking in here. So uh, you've got those advanced things to go between taking uh, video and still shots. There's just a little uh, slider here. So if I do that, it will drop over onto uh, stills. There we go. And again, we could alter the uh, shutter speed uh, for that and everything, whatever we want to alter. Tell you what, just for this, I will just put it back onto auto and then go back into white balance and we'll stick that back on auto. And as you can see, it's gradually adjusting up. If you want to clear all this clutter at any time, just double click your screen and then you get a lovely clear screen. You don't get anything up here um, if, you, if you're in stills on this point here. If I go back to video, I can just show you the difference. You'll get what video it's set on. Um, so, and we can alter this in a second. So just, just be aware of that. Let's go back on stills again because there's something here I want to show you. It does change the aspect of the uh, the screen when it goes into uh, stills here. And if I just clear the screen, you can see it's made it much more distorted. That's because the actual chip is a totally different uh, shape to the um, 16.9 or 16.10 that you shoot on video. And it just expands it up to, to fit the screen you're still seeing what you're going to get obviously which is vital um, but when you actually process it it'll be a proper shape so uh, just to be warned of that just in case you think something's gone weird with your lens now if i press on here we've got the options of which you can change and if you notice the video area is grayed out i can't actually alter the video area we've got the audio switch i mean i never bother with having audio on any of my quads uh, because when they're flying they make so much noise it's, it's not worth it as far as i'm concerned not something that interests me the photo mode and this is a bit i like um, we can actually shoot dng which is digital negative so it's basically a raw file um, and you can do loads of manipulation with that once you've got a raw file it's got a far more bit depth than a jpeg has only if you know what you're doing with photo editing they will always look uh, rather flat uh, and they always need processing but you will get a better result if you put a bit of effort into it uh, image style is default is gorgeous um, and we've got different versions here we've got uh, uh, natural uh, which should be more or less natural obviously they're kind of self-explanatory raw again is a raw format so it will come out flat again you would definitely need to process it would definitely need contrast uh, but you get a wider gamut with it so um, it's it's good if you know what you're doing with video editing um, if not gorgeous uh, or 
natural or obviously there's a night mode there. I've never tried the night mode. Um, flying at night could be quite interesting and I would love to have a go with that actually. Um, but over a city I think would be nice. Uh, so that's our image style. Uh, we've got a single or team here, so this is where we can add another uh, uh, transmitter or ground station, or we can then swap over to the wizard, uh, which I um, should probably do a video on the wizard as well. And we just simply pop that over, uh, and then we, we run through with what it's going to do with gearing up uh, for the team. But I'll do that as a separate, it's quite, quite involved. And we can reset the camera, so if you've played around with all your functions and everything, can just hit the reset button and then it'll all come back to its default and then let's just pop it on video there we go as you saw the screen popped so it does change now down here we know we're in video mode because we've got oops sorry that's me touching it you know we're in video mode because we've actually got the video dimensions here if we click back into here we can alter the video um, and we could, we've got loads of options here of what we might want to set it on. The default is usually there actually, I think I've probably played with this, um, but that, that's the default. Um, and, but you can, once you're in advanced mode, you can go right up to 4096 by 2160, which is basically what they shoot at the cinema. And a nice little feature here, and something I look forward to playing with, uh, is the we've got 1080p on uh, 120 frames per second so we've got slow motion there it's going to work well for waterfalls and things I think and you choose whatever you want to shoot at and and then obviously just come back if you've mucked about with it again we can reset it again here audio switch off again now we've got the DNG is grayed out purely because we're in video mode image style we've got exactly the same settings again and single and team mode again so that, that's everything there let's just go back okay so uh, I think that's more or less everything. Wow, that's a heck of a lot, isn't it, to run through just on the screen. I haven't even started around the dials and the switches yet. Um, the last thing I think that uh, points out here is, is the SD uh, will tell you uh, how much you've got here. And basically it's saying it's not detected. So I will go and uh, let's put a, a micro SD card into the Seagoth uh, 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 3 Plus. And there we go with the... Uh, card inserted as you saw there uh, 59.18 um, gigabytes available so uh, and that counts down obviously you might notice there's one thing I've completely ignored uh, which is the pad there's no point in clicking into the pad because the Wi-Fi is connected to the uh, H and there'd be no reason why uh, I can think of that you would want to uh, go onto the internet or do anything with the pad while you're connected to the H. Um, so I'm going to turn off the H and then we we'll come back on here. To turn the Typhoon H off you simply hold the button down for a second. As you notice there, the screen's gone dark um, and the bolts has dropped off because it's getting no information from the H tool, basically because it's turned off. Let me just touch that and then you'll see it clearer. So all this has gone off basically, uh, all the information down here. Okay, so um, basically none of the functions are gonna work. So what I've done is also turned off the SD16 and turned it back on again, just to show you, you will get a blank screen. So let's go into the pad or basically tablet mode. And uh, it warns you you're coming out again, uh, even though you're not in it. I don't quite understand that, but I think it's just a default screen. That if you touch anything along here, this is the warning you're gonna get. And then we're onto basically a home screen um, and then if we press here we come into our apps. Now an interesting thing I've noticed is that even though I've been on uh, the Wi-Fi at home and I've, I've logged this on to have a play around with it so that we can do this review, it drops out of the Wi-Fi every time uh, you go on to use the H for flying um, and it doesn't reconnect automatically so you have to do this every single time which is it's not a problem and it makes sense actually that it's always looking for the uh, the H uh, and it will automatically default back to look for the H you don't have to worry about turning this back off again so there we go and let's just get back into there oops one too many and then literally you've got everything on here that you want um, you've got your maps and everything these are default ones and you can just add apps as well uh, if you want to go back to flying you can press this flight mode uh, press the H there I won't do that for a second if you press the home button again it always goes back to the flight mode as well and let's have a look see whether I've got 
the thing is a house has very thick walls so it might well not pick up the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, now it hasn't so um, but it does work you, you get full Google um, full everything basically okay quite a nice facility of this is you've been for a nice little flight and you're um, you, you've landed you've taken the uh, micro SD card out of the H and you've popped it into the micro SD card on the ST16 and then if I come into gallery we've got our flight there that's our latest flight these are ones that are just stuck on by unique and then we can just literally go in and we can view what we just shot in 4k obviously it's only coming out at 720p sorry um, but we can we can actually and we can scan through and there's actually software on here that you can edit and adjust things um, so you know you've got quite a quite a handy sort of little thing I think I mean that's lovely to be able to see it at this quality you could just check anything straight away before you even left the other thing of course you can do is you can then uh, if you use the soft included software or download an app that you're familiar with uh, you could edit it um, and then upload it if you wanted to or email it to a friend or something or other so you've got lots of facilities here it is a full working tablet oh one interesting point um, in here is if I just go back to where we were playing you can't zoom the image I know on some videos you can't zoom anyway but on anything in the tablet it doesn't have a zoom screen basically it's a touch screen but not a zoom screen like I say, if ever you want to come back to flight mode, you just simply press the home one, and there we are.